What's up guys, and welcome back to another episode of Fear. In the last video, we finally killed Paxton Fettel. As far as I am concerned, he is D-E-A-D -E dead. Which means our objective is pretty much complete, so... And I guess my new objective is just to get the heck out of here as fast as possible. Um, yeah, I think I went down this elevator and we saw this big old machine here, and I'm not really sure what it does. But, uh... It's there, and it's doing something. I don't really know what, but it is. And, um... Frame rate drop. Yes, I like it when my frame rate drop. Uh, so far, we've only been fighting some weird ghost creatures, because all of Fettel's, uh, all of his clones are no longer operational due to him being dead. Because uh, he was the one controlling them. And now that he's dead, they just kind of stand there now and do absolutely nothing. So, for all intents and purposes, they're basically all dead. Just deactivated, I guess. I guess I have to go up here. I don't actually remember where I was. Given it, it's been about three days since I last played this, I think. So, uh, forgive me if my memory's a little bit foggy on the geography. And, unfortunately, I've had consistent frame drops throughout the entirety of this playthrough. And that makes me really sad, because, uh, that shouldn't be happening. Okay. That is very noisy. Are those going to be doing something? Or what? Do I have to go back down? Because, do I have to shoot those? Ah! Okay. And now it is dark. Is there going to be something behind me? Uh oh. Whoa! Frame drops galore. Okay. Ah. Alright, um. I should probably get the heck out of here then. Okay, this is actually only a little bit spookier. Uh oh. Uh, does this button work? Nope. Okay. So where do I go? Yeah, my frames are just, like, all over the place. Okay, the door. Alright. Probably should have been obvious, but, uh... Whoa. Whoa! Am I getting shot at? Somebody shooting at me? I could have sworn I heard, like, gunshots in my direction. Alright. Phew, look at those frame drops. Mmm. Sexy. Gotta love them. Yeah, unfortunately, this moment is being slightly ruined by, uh, the frame rates just shitting the bed. Uh-oh. Bad time to reload. Ooh, that was a really nasty one. Uh, more of this, the repeating cannon. I'll take some of that. I s okay, so this thing holds 50 rounds. Ah, I finally know. Oh, shit. Okay, that hurt. You zap me. Well, it can't zap me again, I guess. So, whatever. Let's just get the hell out of here, honestly. I think I've, I've done what I need to do. I think it's just that spooky little girl. She's trying to stop me for whatever reason. Yeah, there she is. I have to deal with her now. Uh-oh. Ah! She's just zapping me. That's all she's doing. Listen, lady, stop being funny a while ago. Ah, I hate these frame drops. This is probably the worst it's ever going to get. Mm. Alright, we're going back up the elevator, and hopefully all these frame rate drops can just stop. Like, god damn it, game. Make up your mind. What frame rate do you want? Do you want 60? Do you want 30? Maybe even 40. Who knows? Alright, I'm running away. See ya, shitlord. Uh-oh. Oh, we got you guys again. Okay, you're not behind me, right? Good. Listen, spooky little girl, whatever your name is, I don't even care. Could you just stop? Like, seriously. Shit's annoying. Yep, yeah, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Alright, I don't think those things can go through walls, so we should be good. Alright, um, again, apologies for these frame rate drops. Jesus, this is just bad. 
All right, uh, situation. The, f- the facility's main reactor has gone critical. A, tra- a chain reaction is imminent. Fear operatives should attempt to get as far away from the facility as possible. Sure can do, boss. All right, so basically get the hell out. Interval Five, 11. Yeah, what's up? You can hear me. Get to high ground. A chopper is standing by. Oh, shit. All right, more repeating cannon. I guess that's th- these are just going to be my main weapons. A repeating cannon and a freaking uh, pistol. I mean, I'm okay with that. Ooh, is that my shotgun? Oh, baby, I missed you. Oh, I missed you. Oh, I have an MP5. I didn't even realize that. Um, I'll trade the MP5 for the rotary cannon and uh, the shotgun on my secondary. And yeah, my... I guess I should ditch the pistol since I really don't have a lot of ammo for it. And I'll just take the MP5 as a primary. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Whoa. Ah, uh, this girl. Yeah. Do I? Yeah, I'm definitely not going that way. All right. Ooh, everything's exploding, like badly. Ow, ow. It hurts. I don't know if I was supposed to jump over that. I thought I had to go under it. Uh oh. The, uh, the MP5 actually does less damage against those things, which is interesting. Well, thanks for, uh, hurting me. Okay, there's the chopper. I need to get to it. Uh-oh, we got, got him from both sides. Okay, that time they actually did some damage to me, and that's not cool. That's no good. Oh, okay. Oh, more of them. Should definitely use my slow-mo. And uh, better yet, I think the MP5 is just the better option against these things. Because uh, being able to just go... Brrr, or maybe the rotary cannon. I don't know how good its rate of fire is, though. So, might not be optimal. Uh-oh. Beesh. Oh, what? What killed me? I had way... I had more than enough health for that. Okay, I guess... Uh, back to the start. That's a no. Alright, so those things are a bigger threat than I thought they were. Alright, shotgun on the primary. Rotary cannon on the secondary. MP5 on... Uh, you know what? I actually, I really prefer the pistol for taking out those ghost things. So I'm actually just going to take the pistol. Uh, two of them. Why not? Sure. Go on ahead. Yeah, see you, lady. Wouldn't want to be ya. Wait, no, I wanted my pistol. Yeah, so I'd like to pick up my AT pistols. Thank you. And I'll quick save. Thank you. So maybe here I can figure out how to get past this without lighting myself on fire. I think I just have to go down. Yeah. I'm stupid. Sorry. <laughs> Thought I had to crawl under it. Alright. What's up, losers? Honestly, I just prefer the one pistol. I don't really see much reason to have two for these guys, but, eh. Whatever the game thinks it's best, I guess. I see, this time only one of them hit me. That is because the pistol is optimal. I can't use my reflexes as much around these things, and that's really weird. Ah. When are you, when are you got me? You got me. Oof, ouch, owie, my bones. Anybody behind me? No, okay. I still don't know what the hell killed me. I had more than enough health, or maybe I didn't, I just didn't see that. Okay. You know, game, now the time now would be the time to give me infinite flashlight, I'm just saying. Those guys do do a hell of a lot of damage though, I will give them that. Yeah, Alma is not happy with me. I don't know, is it because I killed Fettel? I thought he hate I thought she hated him though. I thought I I thought I was doing her a favor. Oh, did you look at that? Alright. 
What's new, Scooby-Doo? Um, wow, I'm actually full on midkits. That's a first in a while. Nah, I'm good on the penetrator. Don't really think I need that. I should, uh, let my flashlight recharge, cause, uh, you know. Massive mate, oh. Jesus. More pistol ammo, thank you. Always appreciate it. Yeah, just quick save in the dark. Nothing wrong with that. Alright, jumping over. Okay, we got spookies. I got plenty of bullets. Don't worry about it. Alright, running a little low. Uh oh. Shit. Reload, 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 please. Alright, we're good. Okay, Alma, you made your point. Jesus. I know you don't like me, but damn. Uh, more medkits that I can't use because I'm full. I'm full of them. Yeah, they're just, they're just handing out these medkits like candy. Honestly. Alright, what's down here? Oh, of course I get a checkpoint. The moment that I quick save. Of course. Whoa! You came out of nowhere. Any more of you? No. Just making sure. Okay, that time I got a little crazy. I'm really happy these pistols are finally getting some use at the end of the game. We started with a pistol and we'll end with a pistol, I suppose. Uh, there's totally not going to be an ambush at the end of this hallway. Uh, look at that. I've tried to forget. I thought you were, I thought you were I've dead. I've tried so hard to forget. Uh, back to one pistol. Whoa. Get the hell out of here, Alma. I would nothing to do with you. Just stay away from me, crazy little girl. I guess you're a crazy teenager now. Ah. I don't really know if I'm supposed to be shooting her or what. So honestly, she creeps the hell out of me. In this place. You're dead, Fiddle. Stop talking to me. Okay, so she killed that guy. What's it to me, though? Stay away from me. Stay away. I will shoot. I will shoot. Ah! Wow. She can actually kill you. Okay. <laughs> you know, I thought maybe if I let her... Maybe she was actually going to be even nice to me. Okay. Well, since that's going to happen... Whoa! I'll switch to my rotary cannon, because, uh, I'm gonna need some firepower for this bitch. And luckily, there aren't too many ghosts. Alright. Quick save. Skibbity bip bop. You know, this is a lot less scary the second time around. I'm just saying, man. I've tried so hard to Oh, I'm, I'm still down to my pistol, okay. You stay away from me. I do want not want anything to do with you. Uh-oh. Okay, I can quick save in these spooky sections. That much I'm appreciative of. I was there, Luigi! I was there! Alright, this is where she killed me the last time.
okay, you done? Alright, I'm out of here. Your baby? What do you mean? Don't tell me you're my mom or something. You will be a god among men. I guess you were somewhat right about that. Take her back to the vault. <laughs> I'm sorry. That sound effect is just... It's so stupid. So I guess Alma's me mum? Then why is she trying to kill me? If you want your kid back, then why are you trying to kill him? You took all my... They took all my goddamn guns again. They took all my guns. Can't have shit in fear. Alright, I'm out of here. See ya. I wouldn't want to be ya. You guys are lame. Frankly, I lost interest a long time ago. In, uh, in your little squabbles. I just want to get out of here. Okay, I finally made it to the roof. Or wait, no, I made it outside. Ah! Listen, you don't have to create a singularity. Christ. Uh-oh. Is that a nuke? Alright, listen. To say this is overkill might be an understatement. Eh. Help. Am I supposed to run? I can't. I can't move. There's nothing I can do to stop this. Oh, I guess I'm gonna die. I think that was scripted, though. Thought I was supposed to run to cover or something, but it's kind of a nuke. Not not a lot of lot you can do against a nuke. Massive explosion detected by Hannibal 3 spy satellite in the vicinity of classified army camp facility moments before a signal was lost. Efforts to reestablish link unsuccessful. Status of fear operative unknown. Is that just going to be the end of the game? I die in a nuke? That was more than just a massive explosion, man. That was a nuke. There he is. And I'm alive. Ugh. My bones, they hurt. Yeah. I don't know how you live through that. Some say I'm a god. How did we you guys don't know live? the extent of the damage? We haven't been able to get through to anyone since the explosion. What about Alma? What happened to her? What was that sound? Don't tell me we're going down. Oh, there she was. Fear is dedicated to the memory of Wen Chi Li. Well, what a good fucking game that was. That, that wasn't sarcastic, by the way. That was genuinely a great game. I really enjoyed playing that. So, uh, one, uh, interesting ending. Kind of an underwhelming ending. I mean, that nuke was cool. I was like, what? A nuke? Who, who launched a freaking nuke? But I guess all will be explained in the second game. Or um, There's also um, an expansion pack for this uh, under the name of Fear Project Origin. And I definitely will be playing that later. So that definitely be looking forward to that. But what a great game, though. I played it on um, higher difficulty, which is, uh, you know, I think that's kind of the way to play. Um, I, I did consider playing on extreme difficulty, but uh, I thought that would be a bit much for me and just make the game not fun, and I think I was right given some gameplay that I've seen. But uh, overall, very, very good game. Um, obviously, the shining point of this game was the gameplay. This game was a blast to play. I absolutely loved playing it. And uh, it, it's honestly, I, I see why people call this one of the best first-person shooters ever made. Because it honestly is. That, that is the most fun I've had with an FPS game in a very long time now. Uh, you know, for, for a first time experience, that was absolutely awesome. I feel like the, the ending was a little underwhelming. You know, all the enemies I was fighting, they really didn't put up a challenge. And uh, I feel like a lot of that established combat formula was just kind of thrown out the window at the end there. Because all I was doing was shooting ghosts. That's literally all I was doing. They were just ghosts, and they died in one hit to a pistol. And that, and that was just the final part of the game. And uh, not fighting the replicas anymore was uh, honestly kind of a little bit of a disappointment, because I, I honestly was hoping for a massive shootout with uh, Paxton Fettel. I really thought there was going to be like kind of a final boss with him. But nope, he just kneels before me, and I put a round through his head, and that was it. 
and, it, and honestly, that was a little disappointing to me because I really feel like I, I really felt like we were gonna have a big old massive boss fight with him. But uh, all around, still a very solid campaign experience. I would say I would rate this a, a nine out of ten. Um, I would have to take one point off due to the underwhelming ending. And um, due to just the low performance in some areas, because I mean, it's it's really not the game's fault. This game wasn't designed to be played on uh, newer machines, which it, which is honestly kind of my fault for playing it on a on a newer machine. But I don't just have some old potato PC sitting around, so you know it is what it is. But uh, otherwise. I, I, I really like this game, and uh, I recommend you guys go and you buy this and you play it, because it's awesome. And yeah, special thanks to NVIDIA for, uh, I guess NVIDIA had their hand in this. Oh yeah, the graphics were, um, the graphics definitely had that uh, that 2000 stank to it. But uh, honestly, I really like the dynamic destruction of the environments. Like, you know, you could tell you've been through an area because, like, it was covered in bullet holes. Tables are flipped over. There's corpses and blood everywhere, and it's, it's great. It, uh, it really honestly just feels like you're an action movie hero. This feels like if they ever make a John Wick video game, it should play like fear because that honestly kind of what it felt like to me. John Wick simulator. I feel like I'm just this unstoppable badass just guy who's just like guns 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 shoot 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 and um while it tried to be a horror game this game tried so hard to be a horror game it failed so badly like honestly like the the scary moments of this game had me laughing more than more than me being scared and uh, there was like one jump scare that got me but it was kind of a it's it was, it was pretty cheap in my opinion and uh, there were a couple moments where the atmosphere was actually kind of getting to me, and I could I could feel my heart rate, you know, going up just a little bit. But um, yeah, honestly, very bad horror game. <laughs> like if I had to rate this game in horror games, it would be a, it would be a one out of ten. Just just not a good horror game in the slightest. But very good first person shooter. Almost a ten out of ten first person shooter. Uh, if it weren't for just some light performance issues, honestly. If the game ran at a smooth 60, I could give this like a 10 out of 10. But, uh, you know, that performance stuff, it'll take off a point for me. But still a very good game, pleasurable game to play. Absolutely liked it. And I wholeheartedly recommend this to any first-person shooter fans out there. Because I know first-person shooters, I mean, I know they're kind of like a bland genre. People are like, ah, there's like a million first-person shooter games. But honestly, they're my they're easily one of my favorite genres uh, of video game ever. Oh, okay, so I can just skip the credits by pressing the space bar. But anyway, um, first person shooters are probably one of my favorite video game genres because I just absolutely love playing them. So if you are a fan of first person shooters like me, I wholeheartedly recommend that you play this game. But uh, without further ado, those are my final thoughts. Very good game. Liked it a lot. And um, that's going to be it for this video. So I'm going to see you guys in the next series, which will likely be Fear Project Origin. Peace out.